Hi there, this is Joe from Shop2 and this is our review for Batman VR. Batman VR was developed by the same minds behind the Batman Arkham series and it doesn't have show. It's fair to say that while a short experience, this is a game which is made to shine on PlayStation VR and shine it does. Using the PlayStation Move controllers and playing as both Bruce Wayne and the Cape Crusader, you transfer from one point to another using the face buttons, therefore eradicating any motion sickness that may otherwise have been present. The main focus of the game is on Batman's detective skills, therefore you spend a lot of time piecing together evidence and messing around with Batman's gadgets. You will get to throw his batarang around at the beginning of the game though, trying to hit targets and break your record in a bat cave simulation. Most of the time though, you'll be trying to reconstruct scenes from crime and find clues to solve a mystery. Interestingly, at the beginning of the game you get to play as young Bruce, reliving in VR that fatal moment when his parents were killed. This moment is something else and leaves an impact that stays with you throughout the entire experience and from there it just seems to get better and better. When the story truly begins, you'll be out trying to find out what happened to Nightwing and Robin who have both went missing. Unfortunately the former seems to have met his maker and therefore you'll be tasked with analysing the crime scene for evidence, making use of this forensic scanner, grapple gun and batarang. The forensic scanner plays back the events before Nightwing was killed and eventually you'll find out what happened which is not for the faint hearted. After this scene you'll be heading out of the area using your grapple to enter the Batwing and everything will then fade to black between scenes with only the sounds of the story in between. It does seem an interesting choice that fight scenes and other story fillers take place during a blacked out screen but I guess the developers just wanted to concentrate on the scenes where you play as Batman rather than you having to watch cut scenes. There are a few moments where the action isn't quite seamless, with tracking sometimes being lost while trying to pick up items for instance. However, mostly it's a pretty fantastic experience with the perfect mix of action and investigation. Overall, Batman VR will last you around 90 minutes, although once complete you'll gain access to additional challenges, which gives you another reason to play, although any chance to play Batman is reason enough. For the cost of around £15, Batman VR is a fantastic experience, especially for fans of the Cape Crusader. Somehow Rocksteady seems to have captured what it surely feels like to be in Batman's shoes. When it comes to Batman, Rocksteady continue to surprise constantly, so much so that it makes you wonder what they'll come up with next. This has been Joe from Shop2, thanks for joining us for this video. If you like it, then please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for now, bye!